Kind of. But remind me a little? Okay. I was after the secret of Monkey Island, and I decided that the easiest path to the island was to sign on to crew on the Chuck's ship. I would mount a mutiny at some convenient time. There were two problems. I needed a mop to get the job, and they knew who I was. Now, back to the story. The note says, forced to close. Thanks for the memories, but cash would have been better. A visitor! <laughs> Wait. Guybrush Threepwood? <laughs> Otis! Howdy, kid. And Stan. Otis, old pal. You haven't changed much since I last saw you. I blame the government. In fact, didn't we first meet right here? Not at all. I was in the other cell that time. You look different somehow. Uh, new art style? How nice of you to notice. Big news. I'm going after the secret of Monkey Island. That sounds fantastic. You know what I remember most about Monkey Island? The time you busted me out of jail right before we went there. I don't cruise ships anymore. But maybe you can still help me out. Like you did all those years ago. Yeah, I'm sort of planning on hijacking an existing crew instead of recruiting one. But maybe I can spring you anyway, for old times' sake. I would be most appreciative. A locksmith has opened very conveniently across the way. I am told locksmiths can make keys for things. Uh, things like... cell doors? Imagine that. I assume you'll be here when I get back? Don't tease me, Guybrush! Welcome to my shop. Hi there. I see a peninsula trailing off into small islands, but no X marks the spot. It's southern Florida. I have family there. Are these for customers? Not technically, but please, help yourself. That charming old guy who mans the lookout keeps bringing them for the parrot. Thanks. I'll just take a few. These are nice. It's a locksmithing test. Close it all up, and if you get the key out, you pass? That's the beginner level, yes. The real challenge is to lock the larger box inside the smaller one. I'm Guybrush Threepwood. Pleased to meet you. I'm Lock Smith. You're kidding, right? Nope. And before you ask, Yes, they did. Yes, it was. And they really, really wanted me to follow in the family business. It's really clean in here. Do you have a mop I could use? I simply don't allow filth to accumulate in the first place. Try somewhere a little less sanitary. Like the bar, by the docks. Can you really make keys for stuff? That seems like a magic trick. Modern locks have serial numbers that tell me all I need to know. No tricks necessary. Just information. I'm on a quest to find the secret of Monkey Island. Exciting. The story in my family is that the secret is sort of like a key. One that opens all locks at once. All at once? How does that work? No idea. It's just a story. But I guess you'll find out soon enough. I think I'll browse around a bit. Try not to touch anything. I've got a system, and I don't like it disrupted. That's an impressive machine. Yep. This wouldn't be much of a lock shop without a key grinder. Can I try out your key grinder? <laughs> no. I wouldn't want you to lose any fingers. These are nice. Thanks. Handsome looking parrot. And also vicious. But it was my mother's favorite. At the end of the plank. My mother's. Please don't touch it. What's that key? That's for a lockable quiver. 
What's that key? That one is only for going in. Never for coming out. And please, don't touch the glass. The note says, forced to close. Thanks for the memories, but cash would have been better. It seems to be stuck closed. It's Elaine's flyer about how limes combat scurvy. It's important, but boring. I've never once made it all the way to the end. Hi. Everybody thinks they know more than the other. Okay. Once you have a key, you've got to open the door. Aww, this is where I risked my neck for Elaine, and she showed me she only needed me to risk my heart. Also, the windows need some work. Hi there. Hi there. Again. Who's the old lady in the window across the way? You mean Whitey Bones. She used to be the undertaker here years ago. Seems to know a lot of things that maybe don't quite fit together. How well do you know Whitey Bones? Not well at all. But she's been living near my shop for quite a few years. She was across from my old location, too. But she moved when you moved? I'm sure it's just a coincidence. It seems wrong that you can make a key from just the serial number. It's a fail-safe, in case people lose their key. You know how people are. Aren't locks way less secure if all you need is a number to get a new key? That's why you should never share the serial number with anyone. What happens if you lose your key and the serial number at the same time? The numbers are usually engraved on the locks, just in case. And if you lose the lock, chances are you don't need a new key. Well, what's to stop me reading the serial number on someone else's lock and having a key made? The numbers are printed small enough that you need a special tool to read them. Only a pro would have a tool like that. Can I borrow your lock serial number reading tool? My magnifier? Not a chance. I could be drummed out of the union for that. If you want to play locksmith, you'll have to look elsewhere. But tell me again about how to have keys made. It's exciting. You bring me the serial number from the lock, I make the key. It's pretty straightforward. I think I'll browse around a bit. Try not to touch anything. Sort of like an eye. Carla.
sky brush Threepwood. Hello, Swordmaster. Prepare to taste my blade, you washed up hack. When was the last time you had a bath? Ha! That was marginally clever. It's nice to see you again. You too. You should never have given up being Swordmaster. Who says I did? Oh, sorry, I just assumed. Governor seems like a full-time job. It is, but there's room for overlap if you're creative about it. I heard from your wife. She's coming by to talk about scurvy legislation. I assume you're involved with that somehow? Aileen can handle it. She doesn't need me. I don't doubt that, but it isn't about what she does or doesn't need. If it isn't about the scurvy project, why are you here? I'm looking for the secret of Monkey Island. Good for you. I don't have it. Elaine says Captain Madison is hurting her scurvy project. Not the legislative part, just the public funding. The town was in a bind a while back, and that so-and-so Captain Madison saw an opportunity. She lent us the cash we needed, but now we're up a creek paying the interest. Things like social programs, waste management, and town maintenance are all on the back burner. I like that woman less every minute. You and me both. Well, the mansion hasn't changed much. Elaine's style is still everywhere. Even the books are hers. They're my books now, as you well know. I don't really have anything to say. I just like doing this. Practice is nice, but I'm busy these days. Governor stuff. It's a lot of work being governor. I like your stuff, I uh, guess it's a dog? Please, take that and throw it away. It was a gift from the Earl of Thickwater, who is a contemptible pig. I don't really have anything to say. I just like doing this. Practice is nice, but I'm busy these days. Governor stuff. I've always thought this looked like my old ship, the Sea Monkey. <sighs> Does not include Secret of Monkey Island. Oh. It's a cookbook. It has four stars, but it looks like they're for difficulty. Can I borrow a book? You've got a lot of nerve asking that. You never brought back the last book you borrowed. I had to buy another copy. You never even apologized. I totally forgot. Of course you did. You think like a cow. Stay out of my bedroom, Threepwood. Stay out of my bedroom, Threepwood. I've seen that same painting on a box of frozen instant cereal. to Stan's previously owned vessels. 
the assets of this establishment have been seized to settle a class action lawsuit. Have a nice day. There was a time when every mooring would be filled with one of us. It's a dried up old sea sponge. Stan used this to clean his ships. It's all rusted out now. There was a time when every mooring would be filled with one of Stan's used ships. It's soft and extra fuzzy. is all boarded up and it's very dark in there. Is that an old toothbrush? seems to fit even better than it used to. Nice and hot. I wonder how long I could stand here before... Guy Brush Threepwood, as I live and breathe, how have you been? Eh, same old, same old. How's Elaine? She was always my favorite governor. Also, she covered your tab when you stopped coming in. She's here on the island. Well, of course, she came with you. No, I didn't even know she'd be here. Oh, well, tell her I say hello. Keep up the good work. Thanks, will do. Can I borrow your mop? Put that down before you hurt yourself. What? Clearly, there's a lot you don't know about mops. The mop is the formal tool of a cook. Not as clumsy or random as a dish rag. An elegant tool for a more civilized cleaning. You cannot hope to succeed with the mop of another. I can't? You must construct your own. A single perfect instrument that you will keep and use for a lifetime. Well, let's hope it doesn't come to that. Once you build it, the mop will become your constant companion, your tool, and a ready means of defense against spills of all kinds. Uh, build it? <sighs> the wood is the heart of the handle. The heart is the handle of the cook. You are one. Not helpful so far. You must find a particular tree. A tree uniquely suited to the handles of mops. Carve your handle from a limb of that tree. Any questions? How do I find the mop handle tree? I can't tell you exactly where it is, because this is your own personal journey. Okay, I guess I'll do it. What's wrong? You gave the story the wrong title! It should be called Mop Quest. 
When do we get to the piratey parts? Well, even the coolest professions involve more mopping up than you would think. It seemed crazy to me at the time, too. But don't forget, it was all so I could board a ship, take command, and sail to Monkey Island. But first, I had to make a mop. The plaque says, in memory of looming seagulls of old. It's hopeless. It's my very own, very sharp, non-magical ceremonial knife. It's hopeless. It's my very own, very sharp, non-magical ceremonial knife. 